Greeting, true lovers of justice. My name is Robert King, and I'm the only free member of the Angola 3, and I'm here today to show my dissent, as so many others have, with the intent of Great Britain uh, to extradite Talha to the United States of America to face some alleged terrorism charges. Because I understand if he is sent to America's prison, where he faces the possibility of 70 years, he will die in prison. Great Britain prides itself in not allowing the death sentence. By proxy, if Great Britain extradite Talha to the United States, he will be executed. When I say executed, maybe not imminently execution, but incremental execution. America has many ways to kill. They have lethal injection is one way of killing. They call that imminent debt. Another way is incremental debt. They call that 70 years. If Talha is sent to the United States with 70 years in prison in the United States, there's a possibility that he will die. He will die in solitary confinement. This is one of Great Britain's own citizens. Poet, writer, he deserved much more. If Great Britain is against imminent debt, if they're against incremental debt, if they are against the debt penalty period, then they should not extradite Talha to the shores of America. We should look more than at the legal ramification. There is a moral ramification that exists, and I think this is what we have to look at. We have to understand that there is a difference between that which is legal and that which is moral. At one time in the United States, it was legal to own slaves. And even though slavery still exists to a great extent in America today, it wasn't abolished in the way we knew it until people began to see it as being reprehensible. Now he has been in prison for six years and counting, waiting to be extradited back to the United States, where he will perhaps face debt. If we really want to see justice done worldwide, this is our focus in solidarity, freedom.